Hi guys, and welcome to EV Nerds. And today I got the KQI3 Pro on review. Is it the way forward? You says it is. So the scooter is 350 watts, continuous power, 700 watts, peak power. The max version is 450 watts of continuous power and around 900 watts of peak power. This is a higher entry level scooter because it's not typical low quality or whatever uh, scooter. This one is made by NEO. NEO is a uh, large, one of the largest actually uh, manufacturing companies of mopeds and motorcycles, electric mopeds and motorcycles in China. Uh, they have been in Europe and USA for a long time right now. Uh, I think they are the highest selling electric scooter uh, company in Europe actually. So. Why does this matter? Because the BMS in the battery and all other things that you usually think about when, or if you know about them and think about uh, when you are buying a very cheap scooter, when you pay a little bit extra, then you can be sure that BMS is good, that the cells are good and that everything is assembled correctly. Some of the guys on YouTube have already reviewed the scooter. I was thinking about what can I say extra? I think I know. I will tell you, Neo is making these legs a bit more sexier. Why? Because they did incorporate in their design this, the support for the rear leg. And yes, many manufacturers are doing this, but in entry level scooters, like mid range scooters, not so many are approaching the geometry for riding and for stability as uh, premium brands. So I guess I would say Neo is becoming the premium brand just by doing this. And it also gives us the opportunity to have sexy legs. Neo wanted to make really clear on their website that the, they developed a new geometry for this scooter. It was not the copy of others. What they did, they put the incline of this uh, in contrast to this it gives you more stability it gives you sharper turns and you will see that in the video so even though nobody talks about that when they review this scooter uh, I'm going to tell you that yeah that's not uh, some, some stupid information that stands there so thumbs up for that new you've done it this works Although this is not a high-powered scooter, I'm still going to test the acceleration. Let's go! And 25! So 25 is the maximum you can get on the European version. So let's test the braking. The regenerative braking is awesome, so let's try it. Very good. I'll give you a quick ride review and details later. I was lucky enough to film my two friends, Ivan, who rides with correct posture using the rear foot support, and Zafranovic, who rides like other 90% of the people with both legs on flat surface of the scooter. Riding KQ3 Pro is really easy. Nothing feels out of the line on this one. It's a swifty little machine that performs uh, great on flat surfaces, a little grass and dirt won't be difficult to conquer. Uh, it has a very good throttle response uh, with mediocre climbing ability. Uh, of course, it's better than Xiaomi's ability to climb. Not really comfortable at this uh, kind of terrain, but it's still doable. Oh. And this is where this scooter shines. 
10 inch tires help here a lot and the width of the handlebar is just about enough control for your hands uh, when you suddenly need to respond on let's say a pedestrian that just pop out on your way we are not able to test the full speed of Neo and the performance since the max speed is disabled for EU region by firmware uh, when you download the new application over Google Play it says the region to EU and 25 km per hour is stopped but the scooter goes uh, faster in other regions and you can really feel that the rear motor is limited uh, by software because it's just you know you, you can just feel it can go much faster I did not open the rear motor but I would say it's oversized for what it is and uh, that's a good thing because the scooter will live longer the display on Neo is super simple all you can see there is uh, if it's turned on the speed the battery leftover uh, battery percentage uh, Bluetooth and light icon and the riding mode that you are currently using. All of the other stuff uh, are unnecessary and they are displayed in the Google app. In the new app, uh, you can see your range, your trip, your ride map. Uh, there are lots of other settings like uh, the region setting. Uh, you also have uh, troubleshooting uh, tips uh, and uh, locking. You can uh, lock your scooter in, in this app and Nobody else can take it without unlocking it. Halo light is not only fancy, but it's very usable and you will not need an additional light for this scooter. Uh, the great thing about Neo scooter is this folding handle. It's, uh, as you can see, it has a locking system even when it's turned off. You just have to... You just have to do like this and then it's down. But if you do not uh, fold it, 100% it will not fall off. You still need one extra touch to put it down. When you are doing that, you just put it here. And then, unlike other scooters, you just press it. You have a button here, which releases it again. And when you press it, you just hold it and take it with you. It's, that's really an awesome feature because you are going to be folding this scooter uh, much of the time when you get to work and back. This works well. There is no play to it. One other thing I want to mention is uh, this part here. So that's uh, the, st uh, the steering handle. It's uh, fat. The material is uh, aluminium. 6061 so it's uh, the best in the class uh, material for uh, making the scooters uh, it's aerospace aluminium but it's also casted correctly uh, we have seen uh, this year many many manufacturers using good materials but uh, molding and uh, casting out the parts is really bad and then you have uh, uh, like uh, scooters uh, with uh, forks that break and stuff like that. This scooter is not going to be one of them. Uh, all of the things on the scooter, like the rubber deck, the aluminum materials, the halo light, which really works great, by the way. Neo took care and thought about it, so this, uh, this is ready for registration, as you can see, by the new certificate for European Union. So the, the rear mudguard is good. Um, you can move it a little bit and that's done because if something is very strong and since the scooter does, it doesn't have the suspension uh, it could happen that uh, eventually the mudguard would break but it, if it has this little travel on it uh, it will never break actually uh, okay we got the nice new logo here the rubber is great you don't have to use it's very grippy uh, new doesn't uh, use the grip tape for obvious reasons uh, this is easier to wash the head tube here it's much wider than the Xiaomi and other scooters so it's really built to last one of the major things about this scooter is regenerative, regenerative braking so when you brake, brake and on this place it already starts slowing your motor so strongly you don't feel like you're going to fall off so when you press it more it releases the disc brakes as you can see so still not 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 and now the disc brakes work 
Of course, from terrain, five kilometers to zero, it's very easy, but uh, still, it's a great feature. And I think they really thought through uh, how much power they want uh, the scooter to take and how strongly braking curve it starts and it breaks uh, much, much higher. Uh, the throttle is not a cheap throttle, it's self-developed throttle. Uh, usually scooter companies do not develop throttles, they use something off the shelf. Uh, the screen is nice, just when you push it once, you change the modes, push it three times, you, as you can see, you turn on the light. Do this again, go back to your previous settings. tires are great and they are wide enough for very tight turns and easy handling. Let me give you a little bit of history. So the electric scooters got most popularized because of the Xiaomi uh, M365 or whatever the model the name is now, Mi uh, scooters. They are all the same with different capacity of the battery, very slow and everything. And then the same company that manufactures Xiaomi scooters the uh, uh, Ninebot company, that also makes Segway scooters, decided to make a G30 Max. G30 Max was something that uh, somebody who loved the Xiaomi scooter actually was gravitating, gravitating to and wanted to have. So it's like a Xiaomi scooter on steroids. Bigger, better and a bit stronger. G30 price right now is about the same as the price of new scooter, but in this case the new scooter is more new the design uh, looks better. We can argue about that, but there is one thing we cannot argue about, and that's uh, like the support for the rear leg. Uh, in uh, 2022, I think each scooter, the smallest one and biggest one, should have a support for the rear leg because it's much easier to drive, it's much easier to handle, and it's everything is much easier, and that's 100% done correctly so your leg is not too much in front back whatever it feels great it's easy to drive if, if everything else was the same I would still buy the new just because of the rear leg support the battery is a bit bigger I will show you on the screen in contrast to G30 and G32 or whatever the name is by the way the scoot was given for free for testing from new and I was not paid to do the review uh, when buying this scooter, uh, you will want to consider this. Uh, it has a 48 volt battery. It has a larger battery than G13 Xiaomi and uh, many of other competitors. The design is up to date. It has an easy to use app, which is one of the best uh, since it's uh, the same app that they use in mopeds and they have been developing the app for years now. The battery BMS, it's also taken from their motorcycles and mopeds. Uh, safety BMS features come from the motorcycles they have been developing for years and uh, I consider this a really good thing. Uh, there are lots of service spots uh, in the world and, uh, uh, you know, the 20 kilogram weight is at the limit of easy carrying, but luckily uh, it's much easier with the, with the locking system they have uh, for, for uh, lifting it up from the ground. The downside, which is really not the downside, but what we would like to see on the scooter, on the future version, would be, and we would pay extra for this, a rear and front suspension, and let's say an easier speed unlocking, some kind of app that we can download and, you know, uh, not obey the EU rules, and the top speed of 40 or 42 kilometers per hour. I have no other requests uh, for the future version of this scooter since uh, the build quality is great and uh, that's it. If this heat doesn't end, this corn stuff is going to be popcorn very soon. I actually feel like I'm not living my life, I'm just being cooked right now. Uh, and yeah, Ni is one of the companies that uh, only does electric vehicles so high five for that because we are all going to get boiled if more companies do not respect the green revolution there i said it i know a bunch of theories why electric vehicles wouldn't work maybe they are right maybe they are wrong but i'm going to stick to electric vehicles so we'll see
it's, it's not uh, common cheap with scooters. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. Entry level scooters. Yeah. So uh, like, I find it really great. <laughs> wait, let's find it. <laughs> I find it great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, great, found, I, found I found it. I found it. Great. I found it. Great. 